Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at creating a soft focus vignette slash dramatic wedding style photographic effect. How's that for a title? So we're going to take a look at creating this effect here in Photoshop. It's actually pretty easy to do. This is the finished final effect. I'm going to show you exactly how I created this using this image right here. The first thing that I'm going to do is grab my ellipse tool. That's the elliptical marquee tool, by the way. And I'm going to draw a perfect circle holding the shift key right here over, you know, approximately their faces. If you don't have it positioned correctly, just hold the space bar and reposition your circle. I want it to be about like that. And then I'm going to come up here to select and modify. And I'm just going to feather the edge by about 55 pixels. This is a pretty high res image. Um, but you really want this to be a very soft edge. So this, depending on the size of your image, depending on the resolution of your image, is going to vary. So you might just want to play with that and see what you come up with. Next, I'm going to hit Control Shift or Command Shift I to invert that selection. So I've selected everything except right there around their faces. I'm going to hit Command or Control J to pop that up onto its own layer. You can see that essentially I've just cut them right out of the image. That's because I want them to pretty well stay sharp in focus right there the whole time that this effect is going on around them. Now the first thing that I want to do is duplicate this cutout. Okay, So I always have an undestroyed copy of this cutout. And what I'm going to do is come up here to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur and maybe blur this about five pixels. Let's see what that looks like. It's pretty good. Maybe let's go up to eight. Yeah, there we go. Eight looks good. And I'm going to come up to the layer above it and turn it on, duplicate it. So we still have an undestroyed copy. Shut it off. Select this layer. And with this layer, I'm going to go filter, blur, radial blur, but I'm going to apply a zoom blur and I'm going to drag, you can see this is the center of where everything's zooming out from. I want to place that approximately where their faces are. So I'm going to try to hit like this area right here. All right, so right about there is fine. The amount's going to be about 25. We're going to hit OK. And you're going to see it's going to apply a nice zoom blur out there. We're going to set this mode to soft light. All right, there we go. Lovely. And I'm actually, I can delete this extra layer that I created. I'm going to select these two guys and hit Command or Control G to group them. And we're going to reduce the opacity of this group to, I don't know, something like 70. All right, very nice. Next, we're going to go Layer, Add a New Adjustment Layer. And this is going to be a, or not an Adjustment Layer, excuse me, a Fill Layer. What am I thinking? A Solid Color. Now this is where you can start to get fancy. We're going to hit OK and you can really choose any color you like. Um, I, however, I'm just going to hit OK and we're going to set this to the layer blend mode color. I don't know if you can see that. If it's off screen, it might just be on screen. So color. And you can see we've immediately made this like a black and white image. I'm going to double click this color and we're going to try some different colors. I like sort of an orange effect. It looks pretty dramatic. Um, that's a little too orange for me, but you could do green, you could do blue, you could do all sorts of effects. I'm going to stick with a nice orange here. Maybe uh, desaturate it just a little bit. Like so. Maybe darken it up a little bit. There we go. Push it up here like that. Hit OK. And it's a little yellow. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to choose Hue. And we're really going to make this guy orange. There we go, like that. Nice and orange. Now it's obviously a little too strong for my liking. So I'm going to back the opacity off maybe to around 70, like so. Next, I'm going to create a new, this is actually going to be an adjustment layer. I was thinking one step ahead before. New adjustment layer curves. And with the curves, I'm going to hit OK. And what I want to do is choose my black eyedropper here and just select one of these darker shadow areas. All right, we just want to darken those shadows up. Now choose the white eyedropper and just select somewhere on her dress that isn't already completely white. So maybe a very light gray. Okay, so we really blow out the highlights. And I really want to darken up the shadows a little more. So I'm going to choose another area in the shadows. Maybe a little darker than that even. Really start to darken this up in here. That's a little bit too dark, but actually I like the way that looks. So we're going to stick with that. What we need to do now is just click that gray bar to collapse the adjustments panel. Double click the layers tab to open that back up. We want to push the opacity of this color layer back up a little bit more than it was. There we go. Now the last thing to do is duplicate this background layer, Commander Control J, 
and we're going to apply a motion blur right to this layer. So I'm going to go filter, uh, blur, or not a motion blur, excuse me, a radial blur that's zooming to imply motion. Radial blur, zoom, and again, try to guess about where their face is and up the amount to about 30, maybe 40. Let's go with 35. Okay, it's applying the radial blur. We can see there we have it. And the only thing you may want to do here is back the opacity of this zooming layer off a bit. I'm going to back it down to about 50. And I'm going to double click my color layer because I'm still not quite happy with that color. I'm going to darken it a little bit more. And, well, I thought I was going to darken it a little bit more. There we go. Sort of like that. And there we go. That is our finished image. So you can see that we have gone from that to that in just about six minutes. So that's it for this one. That is how you create a nice soft focus, wedding style, vignette effect to a photograph. Thank you very much for watching. And please go check out the site at www.tutbid.com.